Hi guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amon and today I'm doing a mock test with Jad. Jad. How are you feeling today? Excited but a bit uh, nervous at the same so time. So when is your driving test? It's next month. The next start month. of next month. So I just want to see if I'm like... Okay, so I'm how many ready. hours of lessons have you done in total would you say from 30, the beginning? 40 hours. Okay. Like four months now. By average? Yeah. yeah have absolutely. you been driving with family at all? No, I've not. It would have been, it would have been obviously better, but I've not. I'm, That's I'm, okay. I'm not Most learners don't actually have the opportunity to do that. I hate that. No practice outside of lessons. But yeah, so you're ready for this mock test? Yep. Perfect. So you're so in a completely new car, but you are familiar with the roads. Yeah. yeah you know I'm the area because yeah. this is where your test is. Uh, yeah. Perfect. I do know it. Like the back of my hand, I can't know. Oh, that's really good. Hopefully, yeah. That would be the advantage then, definitely. <laughs> Okay, so for anyone that's new to watching these videos, don't forget to like the videos, comment down below and subscribe. And Jad actually does a lot of socials. TikTok, there's yeah. TikTok, there's Instagram. Instagram and YouTube as well now. I'm going to start soon as well, yeah. Um, some of your stuff's it. really good. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to put it down in the description. So be sure to check it out and uh, go follow. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so before we get started i'm going to ask you a question about your vehicle do you know what the test is going to be like yeah, yeah 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 i do know yeah perfect okay so you've seen loads of videos i've seen loads of videos that okay. every day always watch you like yeah. okay perfect so before we get started question about your vehicle could you tell me where would you find the engine oil and how do you check it's at the correct level how would you check the water engine, engine oil, oil and where is it the engine oil i've not revised these questions online but the engine oil where do you think it would be uh, whether it be over here somewhere? <laughs> be in the engine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, but you don't I, know, yeah? I don't know. Fine. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. It's all good. You need to revise them. Yeah, you definitely need to go over them. Okay, so when you're ready, <laughs> we're going to get started. Alright, cool. Alright, let's begin. So whenever you're ready, you can start the engine. I'm just going to put the AC on because it's... Bad so... start, but it's fine. Oof. I'll bring it back. <laughs> Sorry. I saw yeah? Yeah, when you're ready, let's begin. Landsport. So we're going to move off from here and then make a left turn at the junction. And then left at the traffic lights as well. Okay. Still trying to get that, I was used to the car in there. That's okay, give it a Mercedes. few minutes. As we're driving along this road, the vehicle ahead of us now starts to slow down and indicate left. Jad does not realise this and gets fairly close to them. When this happens, that means that the vehicle in front could be trying to park. Make sure to maintain at least two car lengths so that you give them enough space to do their manoeuvre. Oh, this guy's parking. Okay, at the roundabout, we're going to be taking the second exit. The second exit, yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. Jan does have a bit of a habit of coasting where he puts down the clutch too early and this causes the car to speed up on approach to the next set of traffic lights. Now this is not an issue as long as your speed is controlled, but he doesn't brake enough and we end up stopping in the cycle box. So 
So what is it? Is over there? Yeah, that one right in front of us. So it's the one on the right. The, the one. So this is the first one here, Chad. Oh, so it's the one That's there. That's the second one right there. What serious fault was calm? What's that? <laughs> huh? What was the serious fault? Bike thing was calm. It's a pretty easy fix. Don't overthink it. of us we have a pedestrian crossing where the traffic lights are green but there is a pedestrian who has started to cross. It's a good idea to step off the accelerator when you notice there are pedestrians waiting to cross as there is a high chance of the traffic lights changing. Had the traffic lights changed this would have been troublesome for Jad as he was still accelerating through. What was your uh, was first car? Because I'm always not interested to get my first car now. It was a VW Golf. A VW Golf? 1.9 TDI. Definitely not a first car for a new driver. Nah, I can't. Nah. Me, I was thinking more of like a... Like a... Box or course or Yeah, something small just to get you started. Yeah, just to get started. Had. Yeah, At the roundabout, let's turn right. It's the second exit. Traffic lights turn right. Turn right, yeah? Yeah, at the second set. Approach to the next roundabout, Jad gets marked down for use of speed as he doesn't break enough and takes the roundabout too fast. At the roundabout, we're going to go straight ahead.
On approach to the traffic lights ahead, Jad gets marked down with response to traffic lights as he is braking late on approach to the traffic lights because he puts the clutch down first and then starts braking, which causes him to speed up on approach to the lights. Everyone over shout like everyone like all the people over shout was with in it. Like my you know friends in it. Shout out to Hamza, Shaz. <laughs> On approach to this next left turn, Jad gets a serious fault for use of speed. As we're going downhill, he was braking, but again, he wasn't braking enough and ends up approaching the turn too fast. And take the next road on your left, please. If you could pull in and park up on the left, please. All right, so shortly I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. Mm. As you're driving down this road, I'm going to make sure it's nice and safe and I'm going to give you this signal. Stop! As soon as I say that, I'd like you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible. Okay. But wait for my signal before you stop the car. Okay. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, drive off whenever you're ready. I'm not going to get you to do that again. Drive off when you're ready. <laughs> Make sure we look back because I saw uh, the guy got a uh, major fault for not looking back. I forget yeah. his name. The guy from Love Island. <laughs> 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 Alright, cool. Alright, I'm not going to get you to do that again. Drive normally, okay? Good. As we enter this roundabout, Jad does encroach into the right hand lane, but as nobody was to the right, this was not an issue. But it's really important as soon as you enter a roundabout to go in and then follow it round so that you stay within your lane. As we're going to be making a right turn, it would have been a good idea to start this roundabout in the right hand lane. So we end up going the wrong way. Thank <laughs> you. 
no, wait, don't worry about it. I would. Uh, That's okay. This one. Uh, which one was it? <laughs> I'll tell you later. Just do that. If you don't know it, don't worry about it. Okay. Because we don't want to worry about that and make a mistake on the drive. True. On approach to the next roundabout, Jad gets a serious fault when it comes to lane discipline. We were approaching the roundabout a little bit fast, but the main concern is just before the entry, he's looking towards the right and not steering round the roundabout. He ends up going into the right hand lane, causing the vehicle on the right to have to swerve around us. As we move off from this traffic light junction, when the lights go green, you need to go into the middle and usually two cars can fit into the junction. So Jad continues into the middle. Once in this position, you either need to wait until the road ahead is safe and you can turn straight away, or until the traffic light starts changing. On this particular junction, we have a filter arrow. So right underneath the green, there is an arrow when you can turn straight away. Even when the filter arrow has turned on, Jad continues waiting for oncoming traffic. We needed to clear the junction at this point. We need to clear the junction. Turn right in there. So what I'm going to get you to do now, using the vehicle ahead, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise. So start alongside this vehicle, then reverse back and finish within two car lengths. Okay. Don't go up onto that driveway, stay in the road, but you can be in front of it, it doesn't matter. Alright, cool. Okay? Sure. I like this one, I think. <laughs> When moving off from this position, Jad does make sure the road is clear in his mirrors, but does not check his right blind spot. Once in the road, he does not select reverse gear straight away. Now the road was clear and nobody was behind, but if you don't put it into gear, nobody knows what you intend to do. Now somebody turned up behind us and they got fairly close and Jad gets a serious fault for this. Yep, downwards. Lift it. Yep. And then left down. Like that. Yeah. Cool. This guy wanna go forward. Huh? 
While reversing the car into the space, Jad is using the clutch quite high and then using the brake to restrict the speed of the vehicle. Now in terms of a driving test, this is not a fault as it doesn't matter to the examiner how you control the speed of the vehicle, but it's a good idea to use clutch control using your left foot without restricting the car with the brake. If you need to brake, then you should dip the clutch down fully and then apply the foot brake. You can hear the engine is struggling as it sounds quite loud. Drive up when you're ready. It's off. Okay, so that's the end of your test. How was your drive? I thought like I was very like nervous. I can't lie. You like, were really kind of like it kind of like kind of like made me do some stupid mistake, which I don't normally do. Mm -hmm. But obviously because I was pretty nervous, I did it. But that's just that you got to get yourself through <laughs> that's that. Because yeah, on your yeah. test, you're going to be nervous as well. Yeah, that's true. All right. That's so in terms of your drive overall, mm -hmm. okay. It's a weird one. Um, it wouldn't be a pass. Mm. Um, the main issue was, you know, where there's a, there's a few things I want to highlight firstly. Yeah. So the main issue I want to talk about is, you know, where that traffic light was right turn. No. Yeah. The one that we just turned. Yeah. So we're waiting in the middle of that junction, right? Yeah. Okay. Initially, we're just waiting because we couldn't go. There was yeah, yeah. traffic. But then that bus was quite far. So I should have went. And we could have gone. Okay. But that wasn't like a major issue again. Okay. But then while we're waiting and the bus is that far, yeah. right in front of you, the, the filter arrow has turned on. Oh, okay. So the green arrow to turn right is on and you just sat there. Oh. And it was on for a few seconds. And then the traffic light even started going red and you were still just waiting. The big issue for me was coasting. Have you ever been... Kind of talked about with coasting. Have, yeah, where well, you always have your thing on the yeah. clutch. Yeah. So you remember you those two stops we did when you said you were in the cycle box? Yeah. Yeah. You know when the traffic lights first change, we had time. We had plenty of time to stop nicely. Which one was that? You know the first, oh, yeah, 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 first yeah, yeah. stop you did. I already knew that. Yeah. So yeah. what I happened there up. is um, the traffic lights started changing, mm. and what you tend to do is, as soon as you know you're going to be stopping for something, you your immediate reaction is to put the clutch down. Yeah. And then the brake comes in. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know what that does? Putting the clutch down first? Yeah, makes the car go a bit like faster than a bit it faster. should. Exactly, so we're coming up to a red light yeah. and you've done that. So the car's now picking up speed. speed and, and That's why, speed. yeah, so what happened is a lot of the times where you were trying to slow down, mm. because you're putting the clutch down first and then you're trying to brake to overcome that and mm. then you're already fast, so you're trying to overcome that even more. Mm. The car just felt too fast on approach to some of these traffic lights, some of these turns. You were trying yeah. your best definitely by braking to control it, but you really yeah. want to get rid of coasting. It's not a good habit, especially as a new driver. That's what you mean, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's a habit. I know it's a habit. You really yeah, want to cut that out. Yeah, you need to put the... Yeah, you want to try first. from now that if anything's happening in front, let me brake. And if I, if I slow down with the brake, then clutch and do the gear and so on. Okay, cool. Okay? Yeah. The roundabouts, um, the first lot of roundabouts were nice. Yeah. You accidentally popped into fourth gear, fourth gear yeah, twice, fourth second gear. which happens. Just manage it quickly. If the car's struggling, there is a reason why. Okay. Because you're kind of just going like that, straight yeah. down. Yeah? Yeah. Um, nearer the end, some of the roundabouts where we were going straight when we went the wrong way. Yeah. Oh. So you're kind I of was... in the left lane. Yeah. But you're supposed to do that. And you're kind of doing that. So you're not following your lane. Oh, okay. You, you did in the end, but it's just there was a car right next to us when you were yeah, about yeah. to go the wrong way. And then, yeah. Do you remember it? The silver... You did O, innit? When you said O. Oh. I saw that, I heard that. I don't, I heard that. Yeah. I don't remember, I'll have to see. <laughs> um, 
but yeah progress up to speed and stuff that was really nice it was mostly just the slowing down part yeah of your drive that's what i didn't like and um yeah honestly as a new driver you do not want to be coasting i know yeah that's something that i need to work because the car just felt fast on the roundabouts the traffic light turn i think all of it is to do because i was just so nervous yeah <laughs> i think if i was calmed down yeah then i think it would have been much better but that's, yeah, you were so nervous but that's even something before we started. that's something that obviously that i just need to work on isn't it yeah so that parallel park let's talk about that as well so we parked up Mm -hmm. You yeah. went into the road, Why right? There? Okay, so as soon as you went into the road, yeah. you know you're about to reverse. Yeah. There's a car very far away. I saw that one though. Yeah, no, I know, I oh, know. Yeah, yeah. But you went into the road, he's very far away when yeah. you first went into the road. Uh -huh. But then you just went into the middle of the road and just sat there. How uh -huh. does he know uh -huh. what you're about to do? Did you put your reverse no. gear in? So now he's coming up behind you and he's thinking, what are you doing? He thinks then, I'm going forward, isn't it? Yes. So as soon as you went into the road, you should have put it into reverse straight away. Okay. Because then he would have realised, oh, you're I want reversing. to do that, but I, I wasn't sure to do it. I was struggling. So yeah, you got to think. You got to look at it firstly where it's positioned. Oh yeah. So it's on the left. Because you know it in the other cars that. This yeah. Way, but all the cars are different. So every time you get into, if you're in a new car, just have a look, so you can see that's definitely on the left downwards. It's on the left downwards. So it's either going to be a push, and if it's not pushing down, then it's a lift. Or if there's a button around it, again, you can see there's no button. Yeah. Yeah? Um, yeah. I think, for me, the main thing that I think I do need to work on, like, I don't know what it is, is my um, hesitation. I think where, like, I, where it's so clear to go, I don't know why I'm just like, we I don't want to go. We never had any chances. Like it's that roundabout. Today. No, like, for example. Like, they, they were okay. Like, where, like, you know what it it's is? clear to go, but... I wasn't like sure where to go. I think if you had a nice approach to the roundabouts where you're that's where the a bit car doesn't where the car doesn't feel fast to you, mm. you'll feel like you have more time. And with that time you can look and decide and act on what you see. Yeah. Whereas if you get there too quickly it feels overwhelming. Because I'm speeding, there's not Yeah. Yeah. You haven't not given yourself that time, you're just like, wait, well, can I adjust, yeah. So you'd rather end up slowing down. So yeah, if you sort out that approach to any junction you'll feel much better about kind of looking and deciding. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys, that is the end of another mock test. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that and actually learned something along the way. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out Chad's account down there down in the below. description. But yeah, thank you for following along and that's it from us today. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Any words from you for anyone out there? For everyone out there, just be yourself and uh, yeah. <laughs> Be yourself. Be yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to everyone, yeah. Be yourself. Alright guys.